Um, so I'm here to talk about um, a, um, a documentation analysis project. Um, so uh, my name is Dave Welsh. I work for a company called uh, Expert Support Incorporated. And we were commissioned by um, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation to, um, to evaluate, um, analyze the technical documentation for some open source projects. Um, CNCF has, I don't know, well over 100 projects under its umbrella. The one you probably are most familiar with is Kubernetes and its ecosystem. Um, that's a very mature project. They also have sandbox projects and a couple of different maturity levels. So um, the idea of this documentation project is to make sure that the maturity of the documentation is up to snuff with the, the, this open source project itself. Um, so they did, uh, CNCF did commission some of these analysis um, projects a couple of years ago, and um, they left some templates uh, and criteria that were very good. Uh, we used those, we reused those for this project. Um, they have a, a rubric that includes um, uh, some things like um, the, the actual documentation, contributor documentation, and um, another category, which is um, the infrastructure itself, the website, the um, SEO, uh, all that kind of stuff. So um, in taking on these projects, um, building on this work, uh, Backstage was the first of these projects that I did. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, Backstage is a, um, it's a developer portal um, and it's also a uh, framework for developing developer portals. So it's a very kind of complicated project. It's a fairly large project. It was developed originally at Spotify and then open sourced under the Apache license. Um, and um, they asked CNCF to um, look at their documentation, um, see if they can improve it. So um, I did that. And uh, one of the things that we did then, as we were doing this, this first project, the backstage project, was to uh, add uh, an implementation plan kind of onto the end of what the uh, previous project had done, and um, then go beyond that and create a project backlog. And what this backlog amounts to is a bunch of issues in GitHub in the documentation itself for, for in this case, backstage, um, that contributors can come and um, take on and improve the documentation. Um, we think probably uh, the reason we did this was there wasn't a lot of uptake right, for contributors doing these projects. So um, we kind of hypothesized that uh, the problem was that the recommendations that were made in the first batch of projects um, were too general. And the, what, what contributors want, whether you're contributing code or documentation or whatever to an open source project, you want something that you can do in your, on your Friday afternoon free time or over weekend or whatever. You don't want to, um, unless you're a maintainer or something, you don't want to get up to your elbows in, in um, something and then have to try and figure out what it is you want. You want to look at an issue, be able to solve it, and you know have, have a win um, in a finite amount of time. So that was kind of the goal of adding this other stuff onto the end of this backstage project. Um, so um, we did this. I finished this um, in December. Um, and I generated uh, 18 um, issues in, in GitHub in the Backstage um, repository, um, plus one uh, tracking issue, an umbrella issue that, that has a, you know, a, check, a checklist, essentially, of all the other issues. Um, so that was kind of the end product. And then um, what I'm here to report on is to say that we have gotten a little bit of traction now from contributors who are interested in um, taking on some of these uh, issues. So it's very encouraging, right? The first thing that happened was just a couple of weeks after I finished this, somebody came and said, oh, you know, you, you, you asked for a glossary. Um, I, can, I can do the glossary. I said, great. So that turned into a project where actually several contributors chimed in and it turned into a very collaborative thing. It was very good. There's very good glossary for Backstage now. Great, okay? I've had other contributors come and say, how can I get started? And now I have this to point to and say, um, well, you can, you can do... Um, you can look at these analyses, you can look at these issues, 
um, and, and get started. And um, then the latest thing is, uh, it's very interesting and, and very encouraging, they um, have created a backstage enhancement proposal, which is just, I mean, it's just their um, mechanism for doing large uh, issues. So they've, they've created this thing where they want to um, reorganize the documentation. Um, and the way they want to reorganize it is, they want to say, okay, it's a, um, it's a developer portal, but it's also a developer portal framework, and we want to separate those two things. Um, I, had not, uh, I had not recommended that as part of the process, but um, it makes total sense, and um, I thought this was a great, a great idea. It's going to be a great contribution, I think, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more why in a second. Um, so, just a little bit of a sidetrack here. Um, these are the other, the other documentation projects that we've done for CNCF. Um, the first three are complete. Uh, the Cato one is a uh, Kubernetes um, project. Uh, etcd is, I guess, Kubernetes too, or it's related to Kubernetes. It's a database project. Um, so we've, we've done these other projects as well and, and mostly completed at least the first three. Um, the reason I bring that up is um, for, for Backstage um, and for all these projects, we've started to see some commonalities in, in what the documentation looks like and what we're recommending to be able to have contributors um, improve the documentation and bring up the maturity level. So first of all, uh, I want to say that I've been impressed with the open source um, uh, conceptual information that I've read in most of these projects, all these projects that I pointed to here. Um, they're written by developers. Developers do a very good job of saying how the system works, the architecture, they explain it very well, um, and, and that's great, and that's an important part of the documentation. Um, I've also been impressed by the APIs and, and CLIs and so forth that I've read. Um, they do a good job of that. Just as a side note, I'm, I'm partly, part of the reason I'm impressed with the way the open source people do that is that um, <laughs> when I worked for on commercial software, uh, the developers did not do a good job of documenting their APIs. So open source for the win, right? Um, but um, where the documentation always seems to need help is um, approaching the documentation from a user-focused um, a user-focused approach. So what happens is you get all this great information about the software, but it's written from a feature perspective. Um, and what you want is you want somebody coming in, any type of user, um, new user, somebody who's setting up, a, setting up the software, somebody who's using the software, you want them to come in, say, oh, I recognize myself there, that's what I need to do, and have step-by-step -step procedures for how to do those things. And that's where open source software, at least in this sample, seems to be weak. Um, so the recommendations I've made have been um, to as pointed out here, we start by identifying those user roles. Um, and in Backstage, there are several. It's part of the reason it was such a complicated project. Um, you're setting up a server, so you're an admin for a, a Backstage um, a portal, or you're a developer who's using that portal, or you're a developer who's adding onto that portal using the framework, or you're a developer who's adding onto that portal using the framework and uh, you want to contribute that back to the project, which is another, um, another user role, another user um, thing that you have to do. So um, first, identify those roles. Then identify the objectives and use cases for those roles. Okay. And then write that task-based documentation. How do I do what I need to do as this type of user? So that, um, that seems to be a pattern that's developing with these projects and very much so on the first project in Backstage here, or, or Backstage, yeah. Um, so, um, and the other, the other recommendation, kind of a secondary that falls out of this one is um, developers seem to, seem to know that people want to need an onboarding path, but they don't seem to know how to go about writing a continuous onboarding path. So. How do you go from installation to um, configuration to 
um, setting up your environment to uh, writing a Hello World program or whatever whatever it is for that project. Right? So, um, so usually there's some component of um, can we make this a smoother uh, smoother new user setup. So the, those are my rec recommendations for the backstage project. And as I said, it's interesting to me because this seems to be a pattern. And um, uh, I think working with CNCF, we're going to try and develop that, um, try and develop that, and, and update the templates and um, make sure that the, those issues get addressed in future projects. So if you're interested in looking at what the templates are, what these criteria are, you know, it's a short talk. I don't have time to talk about them, but um, this is. Um, the, the sites where these things live. So you can just log on and, and look, at the, um, look at the assessments, the, the backstage one there in particular, um, again. And then um, if you want to see the issues that I wrote, the backstage documentation umbrella issue, go there and there's a, a checklist of all of the, all the recommendations I made. There are various sizes. Some of them are, you know, like reorganizing the documentation in some way. Uh, some of them are just write, write something. The glossary was one, right? So write a glossary. That was it. Uh, so, um, various um, various uh, tasks that a contributor can make that they can contribute without um, without spending a lot of time, and and they're fairly independent of each other too. That's what I try to do is make sure that once you finish this issue, that it's uh, it's self-contained. Um, I want to acknowledge uh, the the folks from um, expert support and. Um, CNCF, who helped me with this project. Um, Judy Bogart's a fellow writer. Paul Gustafson's my uh, my manager, CEO of Expert Support. Uh, Uche Obasi did the um, website analysis for me because uh, it's not my expertise. And Nate Waddington is uh, the the uh, CNCF tech docs guy, among other things. So um, if you want to know about the CNCF um, uh, project or anything else about CNCF documentation, he's your guy, so tuck him. And uh, that's what I've got. So um, thank you for um, attending, and I, I hope that it's been helpful. Uh, if there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I, I would love to get into the details of this. Like I said, it just, you know, it's a, it's a lightning talk. So thank you. Thank you.